Hi everyone and welcome to UtahSU.Ninja. We are a digital and proximity marketing company based in Northern Utah and my name is Tristan Goodwin. This is the first video in our annual Weebly tutorial series. This year we're building a website for a local restaurant on Weebly and we're going to promote it using Bluetooth beacons and NFC tag enabled cards. This is also a sample of the first module of our proximity marketing training program. If you're building a website on Weebly or if you're interested in learning more about proximity marketing, we recommend that you sign up for our email list so we can send you some more tips and tricks, coupons, and other resources for your website. Okay, now that we have all that stuff out of the way, we need to talk about proximity marketing a little bit, as well as Bluetooth beacons and how we're using these tools to promote our restaurant client. Proximity marketing is a branch of digital marketing whose goal is to connect the digital world with physical objects and locations, like brick and mortar businesses. This allows us to reach people and take advantage of digital marketing resources in a traditionally non-digital business. So to give you an idea, imagine walking into a pizzeria and being able to place your order via your phone while you're still waiting in line, or visiting a zoo in a foreign country and being able to read about each of the exhibits in your own native language, or even walking into a grocery store and your phone gives you a map showing the location of each item as well as any coupons or special offers that are going on. That's the kind of thing that proximity marketing can do. One of the main tools that we use are Bluetooth beacons. These beacons are what send out the signal to the user's mobile device. They come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, ranges, colors, and features. There are several great manufacturers out there, so we're going to refrain from naming our favorites here. But when you are looking to purchase some of the beacons, some of the things that you should be looking for are the type of signal or signals that they can broadcast. Typically, you're going to look for Eddystone, iBeacon, and to make sure that they can send out signals to specific apps on the user's phones. You also want to look at battery life. Now, Bluetooth beacons are based on the Bluetooth low energy platform, so their batteries typically last a really long time, but a smaller beacon means a smaller battery, and so that's something else that you should be aware of. And then finally, their range. The range of a beacon can vary from 100 yards to fractions of an inch, so it's a good idea to be aware of how far your beacon can reach and how much space you actually need to cover. As far as setting up and programming your beacon, the majority of manufacturers have their own cloud-based platforms that make setup very easy and very straightforward. So you typically don't have to worry too much about that unless you go with one of the smaller or lesser known manufacturers. In addition to Bluetooth beacons, there are some other cool technologies in this industry. One of my personal favorites are near field communication or NFC tags. And these work like little teeny tiny little beacons with very, very short ranges. And you also have things like geofencing. Now we're gonna be using NFC tags for our restaurant project, but we'll go into more detail on how those work in their own individual videos. Now, the signal that these devices broadcast is picked up by certain apps on the user's phone. For a long time, we used Google Chrome to display these notifications that are broadcasted by our beacons, but unfortunately that feature is no longer available. And so we recommend that you encourage users to activate the nearby function on their Android phones or download something like the physical web app in order to ensure that these notifications are received. Both of those are free. Now, we've mentioned the notifications a couple of times, but we haven't really explained how the signals are interpreted by the user's device or how they look on the user's phone. So when a phone comes within range of one of our devices, the app, be it nearby or physical web, will recognize the signal and display the corresponding notification on the user's device. So kind of something like Facebook or any other app that has notifications. When the user taps the notification, they're taken to a website or somewhere on an app. And from there, they can continue on with whatever tasks or opportunities you're presenting to them. Now, before we conclude with this video, there's one very important point that I would like to repeat. Beacons serve as an easy way to connect people to a digital property, like a website. But the value that they provide comes once the user has clicked on that notification. These are not magic bullets that will instantly make you a ton of money, and they only form part of your overall marketing strategy, just like any other form of marketing. For example, if you're trying to collect emails, you can certainly place a beacon in an area, but if you don't tell people what the benefit of signing up is going to be, no one's going to sign up for that email list and you're just wasting your time and your money. Again, just like any other kind of marketing, you need to present some sort of value and make sure that the user understands what it is that you need them to do and what they're gonna get out of it. So make sure that you keep your entire sales process in mind and look for ways that beacons and proximity marketing can improve that process. But in our next video, we're going to dive into Weebly and talk about its features, its strengths, its weaknesses, and how it compares to some of the other major platforms that are out there. If you would like YouTube to notify you of the next video that we release, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by clicking on the bell icon. 
We also recommend that you sign up for the email list so we can send you notifications regarding new videos, as well as special offers related to Bluetooth beacons and web design. Again, my name is Tristan Goodwin from UtahSEO.Ninja, where we help to connect the dots between your business and your customers, and we hope to see you in the next video.